What's going on guys? We got a new one for you today. Technically, actually an older one. It was filmed during summertime for the Mystery Tackle Box channel. Never got used, so it's going up here. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think it might be tough to secure a bite. Just, uh, but I think we got one on now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Weston Smith coming at you on the Mystery Tackle Box channel today with a box of our favorite baits that we're going to be throwing, doing some pond hopping in the North Dallas area. We got a couple of rod and reels <laughs> with us. We're going to have some fun at these ponds. We're going to start off at some new ones we've never fished before and uh, starting with this smaller one in the top pocket of this apartment complex and moving on down through maybe some of the larger ones. Then as the Texas heat ramps up, we might try and find some more ponds in the area with a little bit of shade and some structure for these bass. Let's go ahead and get rigged up and started with today's video for you guys. Let's get things started. I think I'm going to uh, just go small finesse and see if we can't get a fish to bite in this first pond. I've never fished it. It's a small body of water. And we're going to see if they want something on the bottom or maybe something moving. We'll throw that next. It's a Koshi bug to start on that deadbolt 1 tenth ounce mushroom head jig. Should get the job done this morning. If we see their eyeballing this right here, I think a jig might work and maybe we can catch a big fish out of this pond if there is any in here. I just did a little digging and it looks like people are only catching catfish out of here on the fish brain app. So let's move down to this next pond where I was for sure uh, there's bass. Let's see what happens over there. So we're going to skip down to the next one like I said and go for some bass, but we've got this bluegill colored swim bait, the baby bull shad we're going to tie on next. I'm going to go ahead and tie this on to the white bird and Corrado combo. See if we can't snag a bass at the next spot with this in conjunction with the Ned Rig to start. Just have one moving option, one bottom bait and see what they're hitting on. And that can base what we want to tie on next. So let's get in over there. Well, that first spot was like an instant fail. <laughs> Quickly realized there was nothing but catfish in there. But at this spot, through that app I use, it's documented catches of bass. So we're gonna take a look in here. We have never fished this pond, but this one, Right off the bat, looks a lot better. Let's see what it's got in store. Well, we were on our way out, and then literally a huge bass just burst right here at all these bait fish along the bank. So we're going to cast here for a second. Maybe this thing is still hungry. Look, look, look. They're all over over there. Damn, they're getting chased. There he is. There he is. Oh, my God. He's going to get that bull shed. No way. Throw on the jig. Yes. Oh, he let it go. Oh, no. Yeah? I think a big one just ate it. Yes. Got one, finally. Got one. Woo. He was swimming with it, too. First one out of this pond is a good one, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's like a two and a half to three. Wow. It's a good one. Look at that. No way. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! That is a fatty. Oh my gosh. Just takes a minute to dial these things in, but that jig. All right, guys. First catch out of this pond. Look at him. It's a fat two and a half, possibly, possibly three. It's just so fat. And uh, that came on that diesel hard hat jig. Boom. 3 8 ounce black and blue. I believe it's a game changer eliminators lure as the trailer. It's uh, green and blue on the underbelly. And it's just like a large tadpole looking design. And that tail really gets going and fluttering. And I think on that drop is right when he picked it up. So just got it straight off the bottom. I knew I had the fish. He was swimming with it pretty hard to the right. So I just kind of cranked it down, went for that hook set. And there she was. Get them back in the water and go for a couple more. That actually came off of this point right here by that tree. Sick first catch, you guys. I think after that, what I'm gonna do is just to show some variants, we're gonna throw that same jig, but just a different color. We'll still use that same trailer, 
but it'll just be on the green or more natural colored jig suitable for your more clear water I like to throw black and blue in the stained water or just to show some variance for you guys at home because you have a confidence color and you'd like to see me get a catch on that color how about that so let's go ahead and tie this one on in case you guys are wondering my line setup up here we're going 17 pound fluorocarbon anything in the range of like 15 is going to be good for all around use my opinion unless you're in a place where the fish are just so finicky that you've got to use lighter tackle i really like the confidence of that 17 pound and uh, that's just my personal preference everyone has their own some people throw nothing but 20 some people throw nothing but 10 some people throw nothing but 12 so that's my two cents and of course i'm going to vary it up depending on what i'm throwing so that's just for most of my uh like texas rigs and jigs and bottom fishing i i'm usually stick to that 17 pound rating you guys i'm just trying off that point again it's kind of the one area of this pond that has any shade and even though we've been seeing big bass come up and hit these banks for these bait fish i've been casting along the banks oh speaking of and i just haven't had good luck what is going on man the thing is they're in and out quick as a flash like this fish is not here anymore i'll cast here but he's already had his little meal now he's back out to doing whatever he's doing quick update nothing after that first bite except for that little blow up y'all had seen we're gonna make a move to the next pond the last time we fished it it was really good to us it had a lot of different vegetation and structure for these fish to hang out at i think it's going to be good for the summertime heat they might be bunched up let's see what happens we're gonna head over to the next spot Spot number two, definitely a lot murkier than the last time we were here, but it is gonna produce, we believe. And I think as it approaches 90 degrees at 10, 15 in the morning, this is when we will apply a little bit of the SPF. Start things off here with the jig. And it looks extremely stained on the approach, but walking up to the bank, the visibility is not as bad as originally thought. Let's get over there in the shade. Just making the first few casts at the second spot. The water is a little less murky on approach than we initially thought, but uh, I think it might be tough to secure a bite. Uh, but I think we got one on now. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one, babe. Wow. Woo! <laughs> that's a three and a half, maybe a four right there on the jig. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Three eight ounce jig, you guys. Look at what we got here. Oh, <laughs> that puppy. That's three and a half, four pounds. We might go to the truck and get the scale out for this one right here. It's tough fins, like, is that? You don't have a top. Doesn't fin. it normally go? Yeah. What yeah. the heck? All right, guys. Let's quickly get him on the scale. We just put him in the water for a quick dip. See what we're talking. Oh my gosh. No way. A four and a quarter pound bass out of this little nook and I'll be honest with you this was laziness I came over here to stand in the shade and try and like cast the little shallow bank area and look at what happened let's get back in the water man now I'm hyped we gotta throw some more of these lures all right let's keep fishing <laughs> we're just gonna coast on that catch right there and throw the Sakoshi bug for a second finesse it on down and see if we can't get another hit oh there we go, there we go, there we go. On the Scotia bug. Woo! -hoo! Come on, baby. Wait, it's a catfish! <laughs> well, guys, sometimes the cats hit the Sakoshi bugs. We might have to break out the pliers on this bad boy. <sighs> well, let's try for some more bass. Got him. Number two on the Sakoshi bug, please be a bass. It's a bass. You. <laughs> yeah. Dang, it's a good one too. A solid one on the Sakoshi bug, guys. Wow. Nice. Finesse pulling through now. We said bye bye to the catfish and hello to the large mouth. Look at this guy. That's another two plus. Good fish today out of these little local ponds, man. Summertime fishing, man. We're just kind of dropping some of these lures down to the bottom. We know it's getting hot out. And uh, let me tell you what, they are hitting despite the heat. Super pumped. I was thinking because we got a little bit of a late start, I say late, you know, it's 10.30 in the morning that uh, the bite might have died off a little bit, but no, 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 they are munching. So we're happy campers. All right, guys, here's what I'm thinking next. I want to Texas rig 
one of these vile bugs. They look so sick. And I'm gonna do that with the 5 aught worm hooks that are the Ketchco Stickies brand hooks. I've been buying them left and right. I love those hooks. Along with heavy metal tungsten worm weights, they just came, I, if I'm not mistaken, these are newly launched. These ones are 3 8 ounce, those, those that bullet style weight that we're always used to throwing on Texas rigs. Let's go ahead and get these things rigged up. That looks like a deadly combo. All right, guys, if you're unfamiliar with the Texas rig, it's so popular for a great weedless setup, especially midday summer fishing, going down there to the bottom, don't wanna get caught on all the structure. What you first do is you put your bullet weight, you go ahead and just toss that on the line. Then you get your hook and you tie your knot of choice. For us, it is and probably always will be the Palomar knot. We are in love with the Palomar knot. If you're unfamiliar, go ahead and scope out a video on how to tie the Palomar knot. It essentially doubles the line strength of your line and uh, it's got to be our favorite along with many other YouTubers favorites, many pros favorites and that's why we use it. So we're gonna tie the Palomar knot onto this 5 aught worm hook and then we are going to crank on some bass with a few different plastics we've got inside the box but I think starting off with that vile bug that we showed you see if we can't pull something together on that. All right, let's go ahead and get this Texas rigged up. So what you do is you just get the tip of that hook through your plastic, then you go ahead and exit, flip this up to the top of the hook, and then you rotate it. Now that, the plastic is on the top of the hook there, and it's sitting on that shelf, so it's not gonna fall down. Now what you do is you find the appropriate, so essentially the, the hook sits inside of the plastic like this, so what we do as we poke all the way through the body, it comes out the other side, and then you just kind of pull back and sink the tip right into the plastic, and now you have a weedless setup. And if we get our weight down here, this is what we are working with. And it is known to perform from west coast to east coast, the Texas rig. This is a basic setup without a weight peg, and of course you can use many different style hooks, many different size and style weights. There's no right or wrong way essentially to do a Texas rig. This is just how we've got it done today with the supplies in our box. Let's have at it. Oh, we messed up. Key point, don't forget to separate your fins. Wow, all these flippers are supposed to be creating action and flipping all over the place and I forgot to uh, separate them. Very rookie mistake. If you guys wanna make fun of me, feel free to head over to my channel, leave a comment on how goofy that MTB video was. Could very well be a bass hanging out on the edge of all this stuff. Devin just caught one over there on the other side. Oh, Weston's over there trying to catch one on the vile bug Texas rig. And I just caught this bad boy on the baby bull shad. That's actually the first one that we've caught today on a moving bait. Surprisingly, they've really been going after a lot of the jigs and uh, Texas rigged type stuff today. Actually, the jigs and that little shikoshi bug. So anyways, I just want to show my little guy with the baby bull shad. Let's go ahead and get him unhooked and back in the water. All right, here we go. Off he goes. Just walked across the street to the pond on the other side. I wonder if the fish in here are hungry. Well, we might make a move, folks. Guys, I think we're gonna make a move over to one last pond. I really wanna catch something on the Texas rig. I might switch out the plastic or just leave this one on and we'll see what happens. They're loving the baby bull shad over here, the diesel jigs, they like the Sakoshi bug. And uh, so we just wanna try and get maybe one or two more fish if we can't for you guys at the next spot. Let's get over there. We just rolled up to spot number three, the final spot for the day. The water is crystal clear. So weird, it wasn't like this the last time we fished it, which has been over a year ago and I am just pumped to throw this baby bull shad. I think it's gonna excel here. There's a little bit of a breeze, and so we're gonna start with this moving bait, cover the bank, and I might throw the Texas rig a little bit more. Let's get some more fish. Yep. Oh. He just hammered it. Oh, big one's chasing it. Big one's chasing it. Oh, all the way to the bank, he chased it. He's chasing it, he's chasing it, he's chasing it, he's chasing it. He, oh! <laughs> He's chasing it. He, oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Devin's on. On the vile bug? No way. No way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, vile bug for the win, guys. This water is so clear. We weren't too sure what a pearl colored plastic would do out here. So I was like, well, we're not going to know unless we cast it and find out. So. I guess they are hungry and they're hungry for anything. 
It's crazy. Look how fat these little guys are. <laughs> that vial bug, we have the stickies. I think it's a four or five aught hook paired with the three eighths ounce tungsten weight for that Texas rig setup. <laughs> Devin's caught one on the baby bull shed. First cast. And the vial bug. And it was first cast for her. What? Oh my gosh. It was out. This is ridiculous. I gotta try and catch some on this stuff too. just came off all oh. first hit on the baby bull shad and we missed it what is going on all right guys the bite has died down a little bit we don't see as many big bass roaming the banks i got a couple short strikes on the baby bull shad but i couldn't secure a catch like devin could unfortunately but i did want to mention every single bass that we caught today and all the stuff we threw is available at shop carl's it's going to be down in the description for you guys it's the best place to buy baits tackle apparel for 30 percent off if you sign up for carl's club so do not forget to check that out Huge shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for offering us up the channel for the day, you guys. Until the next time, peace out. <gasps>